Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit 2018. I'm delighted to be joined by Mr. Ramesh Krishnamurthy, Senior Advisor at the Department of Information, Evidence and Research at the World Health Organization. Sir, yes, thank madam. you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for inviting. So here we're obviously um, talking about AI mm -hmm. and how it can be used to be a force for good. And in health, in your field, how can it help exactly? I think there are lots of applications for AI, uh, applications of AI for advancing public health. You know, our Director General just spoke this morning. Just to give you uh, a sense about the powerfulness of what AI can do, if uh, a paraplegic or if a polio patient or a polio, a person who has been uh, affected by polio cannot walk, could be uh, able to walk one day by using exoskeletons that is programmed to have a human behavior of how to walk. So the, the, the person can be lifted up and walked and, uh, and, and brought back, and the behavior can be learned to the point where the person will have a natural tendency to walk through exoskeleton, and the AI, AI mechanism will allow that pattern to be repeated, so it will become natural. So that would become an extraordinary power force in so far as what AI can do. Uh, that's an, that's an, uh, one specific example. And you know, the other specific examples are uh, in, the, in, 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 in an ability for us to forecast you know, uh, diseases uh, for, for X number of conditions or in case of an emergency to alert and forecast and contain emergencies. We need massive data ingestion and also ability to do pattern recognition. And normally a statistical computing environment would not be uh, useful in that context. So machine learning processes and pattern recognition by AI using artificial intelligence algorithms will allow us to detect those patterns. That's a very important part. So, uh, and then also road traffic, you know, uh, understanding and forecasting road traffic uh, injuries to make sure that it is contained and managed well means that we need to analyze backlog data plus also forecast the pattern of flow of, uh, uh, flow of vehicles if you think about that. So AI has application in almost every facet in public health uh, but also we need to understand to make sure uh, AI is not misused. So in a way, what we are suggesting is that the very first starting point for countries to have a policy and government governance mechanisms for use of AI in public health. And starting that umbrella would allow uh, countries to understand how, you know, what all the places where they can actually um, manage the use of AI appropriately, including clinical care environment, for example, in decision making. Uh, not leaving the robots and AI to do the medication and prescription, you know, there should be some level of oversight. But medication and prescription management in so far as a rapid identification of key uh, medications for a particularly complex uh, um, a medical uh, manifestation uh, requires doctors to have a groupings and thinking of those as to how to solve the problem. But AIs can actually have a, uh, a, a set of leads that will allow the doctors to go faster in those areas. As you've mentioned, the ethical implications yes. of AI are very important, especially yeah. in the field of health, because yes. we're dealing with uh, patient yes. data, aren't we? Absolutely. And that's to be kept safe. Exactly. And I think it's important there, you know, uh, because if you were to analyze um, maybe millions of records of patients using an AI uh, and then predicting about the cost that is going to occur or in, uh, incurred by the patients on the society, and then you want to stop treating some of them, that would be a bad use of AI. You know, you you have detected a pattern, and then now you're using to misuse the uh, you know the the information for for your benefit, if you will, as a as a um, as an entity that is in the management of monies. So we need to really understand that. How do you not use AI for you know? For, for public health and how do you use. And I think the starting point of that conversation actually stems in the policy and governance mechanisms. And then if you actually construct a very good policy and a good strategy for the countries on where, where the interventions of AI to the public health and where it should not be, and those policy guidance allows the society to begin to develop solutions for very specific aspects. And that's why you're here. To yes, discuss that's this here. with all the stakeholders attending the uh, summit. Absolutely, yes. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much.